everyone, it's Mrs. Johnston Hi. for a bedtime story. This week we're going to be reading Harriet, You'll Drive Me Wild by Mem Fox, illustrated by Marla Frazee. Harriet Harris was a pesky child. She didn't mean to be, she just was. One morning at breakfast, she knocked over a glass of juice, just like that. Her mother didn't like to yell, so instead she said, Harriet, my darling child. I'm sorry, said Harriet, and she was. At snack time, she dribbled jam all over her jeans, just like that. Her mother didn't like to yell, so instead she said, Harriet, my darling child, Harriet, you'll drive me wild. I'm sorry, said Harriet, and she was. Before lunch, when Harriet was painting a picture, she dripped paint onto the carpet just like that. Her mother didn't like to yell, so instead she said, Harriet, my darling child, Harriet, you'll drive me wild. Harriet, sweetheart, what are we to do? I'm sorry, said Harriet, and she was. At lunch, Harriet slid off her chair and the tablecloth came with her, just like that. Her mother didn't like to yell, so instead she said, Harriet, my darling child, Harriet, you'll drive me wild. Harriet, sweetheart, what are we to do? Harriet Harris, I'm talking to you. I'm sorry, said Harriet, and she was. Later that afternoon, when Harriet was meant to be napping, she ripped open a pillow, just like that. A thousand feathers flew in every direction. Hmm. There was a terrible silence. Then Harriet's mother began to yell. She yelled and yelled and yelled. I'm sorry, Harriet cried. I'm really, really sorry. Her mother took a deep breath. I know you are, she said, hugging Harriet tight. I'm sorry too. I shouldn't have yelled and I wish I hadn't, but sometimes it happens just like that. Big mess, said Harriet. A very big mess, said her mother and she started to laugh. And they laughed and laughed and went on laughing as they picked up the feathers together. I hope you enjoyed the book.